Yo, yo, YouTube, what's cracking like a Jack's Magnus Waff, man, for video, feeling a little bit better, still coughing, still sick, but we decided to play Arena Pro-Am, and this is my first game of Arena Pro-Am with my Lockdown Defender. Now, I'm going to be talking about different things in this video, it's not just about, going to be about the gameplay, uh, but there's a lot to talk about, man, so you see the builds on the screen, everyone's 1-1 one one at this time, I'm on my Lockdown Defender, I've been using my Shot Creator, like I said in the last video, a lot more but for this video and for this gameplay I'm using my lockdown the you see the matchups we're facing they're not even that great of a team I mean they have like the bigs are not that great obviously you see the 60 overall I'm guarding a sharp shooting point forward who averages 14 assists per game a lot of people are making pure playmakers this year a lot of people are making also pure point forwards and they've been able to shoot the ball it seems like if you got the badges and if you know your release it seems like they've been pretty good shooters, man, but the lockdown defender, right? You be snagging, bro. You be snagging the rebounds. So you're going to see we're going to get a couple rebounds. j hits the shot. j has got his sharp shooting shot creator. I got my lockdown. Tuchel's got his pure stretch four. And you see... <coughs> oh, man. Look at that easy. Listen, man. The steals in this game come easy. And it you might not be a lockdown defender, and you'd still be getting steals. Like, the... Look at this. I get the rebound right there. Throw it back out. He hits too cool for the shot. And he makes it, man. The offensive rebounding on the lockdown defender is amazing. And I'm going to show you guys in another video. I, I play 2v2. A lockdown defender on the 2v2 is literally cheese. It's unstoppable. This guy takes a terrible shot. We get the rebound up to court to Jabo. He's going to try to take it all the way. And he gets the end one. And, you know, shots like that. Those dunks are actually going to be falling a lot more. A lot of people are not going to get a lot of blocks like they used to in 2K18. Uh, but look at this rebound. I mean, first of all, the other team didn't box out. But, man, I'm telling you, man, you need a lockdown defender on the team. Even in the park, man. Like, I, I've always said this, like, back in the day, and you guys know I've said this. I'd rather have a lockdown defender on the park than a glass cleaner or any type of big man because it's just better. You're going to be doing the same thing anyways, except that you're a better defender. You got vertical. You got the speed. You got some athleticism. You know, you got athleticism, obviously. But, I mean, who wants to be on the park playing as a pure glass cleaner every single game? I mean, there's some people that like that. And look at this steal right there. Listen, people think wingspan matters, right? And wingspan does matter. But listen, with my pure shot creator, minimum wingspan, I'm still getting steals in games, man. I mean, the last program game I played last night with my pure shot creator at seven steals so yeah everyone could be talking about oh you, you got you got max wingspan waffle so your lockdown's gonna get the steals no you can get steals with minimum wingspan default wingspan max wingspan it doesn't matter in this game man the passing lanes in this game oh shit nigga i mean i don't even know man you gotta learn how to pass and that was a t listen that, that's another thing i gotta talk about passing the ball off the inbounds if there's only you gotta have two people down there you gotta have two niggas down there Cause if you if the if the other team's trapping you, and they got full court press, and you got they got players down there trying to steal the ball, and you only got one nigga down there, you might be turning that ball over, man. Which happens to me a lot. Those are where most of my turnovers come. You see, I got four steals in the first half. That's why I always tell my team, and I guess my team has to learn this too. Every time we inbound the ball, we need people down there. We need two people down there. You see, I get another steal. Start of the, the third quarter. Immediately get another steal man uh so yeah we're just stealing the ball right now and we're only up by two points this time this man should have hit too cool in the, in the corner he was like i thought they looked the same and i was like you know i guess i guess i mean look listen they look the same but i mean come on man but you see we get another rebound kick it back out cliff is gonna freaking take a shot right here and he's gonna miss and he, we get another rebound i get the ball i'm gonna paint little drop step move and an easy dunk, man. Listen, I've been doing some spin dunks too. It's crazy, man. But look at this right here. Didn't get the steal, but I don't know. I feel like it should have been a foul call, man. I mean, these things just pushed me out of bounds. Which, that's another thing in this game. It doesn't seem like they call a whole bunch of fouls, but, you know, they will call shooting fouls if you jump up the court. You know I'm going to take it. Should have called a foul right there, 2K. But yeah, these, man, this, this team wasn't that good, man. This, these teams weren't that good. I, I reckon that's a pro team actually isn't that great you see i get the rebound right there uh but listen when i use my lockdown defender on pro-am 
I feel like we don't even need like a big man like that. Like, look, look, look at these rebounds, bro. Look at me put another rebound. Like, uh, you don't need no glass cleaner. Like, I, I mean, obviously we face some crazy great 4M teams too. But I feel like if everyone just boxes their man out with me on the court, if everyone does, and I guess you got to take into account that everyone doesn't have the vertical and rebounding I have. But if everyone boxes their man out, I think we could secure the rebound and use that space to have another sharpshooter, man. Because a lockdown is pretty useful. You see me going to the pay again. Missed the shot. Great. Look at how high this nigga's jumping. Gets blocked. Get the rebound. Kick it in the corner. The j -Bow. Oh, man. Seven off. You see that in the top right? Seven offensive rebounds, man. Seven offensive rebounds, man. Uh, but yeah, we're almost like a week into NBA 2K19 and I guess a lot of people so far are complaining about pure shot creators Which I have a pure shot creator, so I know that shit is kind of cheese But at the same time, it's like listen to pure shot creator. You got 90 something mid-range You got 90 moving mid-range. You got Hall of Fame badge. I mean, I, I, I don't know man You got to play defense on those builds, bro But you also got to take in count those builds are not that fast when they're dribbling. So I don't know uh but a lot of people have also been talking about the pull score with cheese. A lot of people have been using pull scores because when they back down, it's almost unstoppable to stop them. They have the strength. They have the drop step. They be backing you down. You don't want to jump because you'll get a foul. So you just keep on letting them back down and stuff like that. And they usually bully you. And you've seen the videos. Once they're in takeover mode, it's over. Because they, they, they literally be doing shit like getting offensive fouls and they... <laughs> they literally just push you aside and push you around and score the basketball, man. So, yeah, man. Some of these builds in this game so far are very cheese. I can say the pure shot creator is cheese. The pull score is cheese. The lockdown is cheese. These are some cheese builds in the game, man. Especially when you're in takeover mode. But, yeah, man. Listen. I don't know if 2K should patch the game. I think the game right now is fine. I would tone down the passing lane steals, though. Because, I mean, god damn, man. Like, listen, you got to be very careful when you pass the ball. And some of these passes are like, everyone's intercepting your shit. Like, everyone. And that's another thing. 2K needs to fix the, when you get a rebound. And someone presses square immediately. And you turn the ball over. That's where most of my turnovers come from. Getting rebounds and getting stripped immediately when I'm on the ground. Doesn't make any sense. And then I also get stripped randomly for no reason. And off the inbounds, of course, we got to fix that stuff. But, yeah, man, passing lane steals in this game are ridiculous. Maybe it does need to be toned down. And maybe everyone should stop. Because a lot of people are just spamming square, getting steals, non-lockdown builds, st stealing on playmakers. It, it, it's quite ridiculous right now, man. But we're going to see what 2K does because we know a batch is coming for something. I just don't know what. But anyways, man, 15 points, 11 rebounds per game. Like I said, our team is trash right now. Our team is trash. But this was a good game when my lockdown. Actually, every game is a good game for me. But anyways, man, leave a like for more. I'm out for now. Peace.